Hey y'all, it's American Mom. I'm ready to see episode nine, I guess. Just got through with episode eight and it's just getting creepier and creepier and we're gonna get some more questions answered, I know. But I think I'm ready to see the next episode. All right, let's do this. Freeze them. Keep them just like this forever. Your arms asleep? No, I'm. You guys coming? She didn't realize that he was gone? Uh, what are these headaches caused from? Because they're not normal mi migraines. I said no, Luke. Please. What's going on? He's not there. Mom? Who is Abigail? Abigail isn't real, Luke. Yes, she is. Tell Mom where Abigail lives. In the woods. Nell's gonna move. <laughs> what? Herself? Hell, I knew it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she really saw that? She saw what was gonna happen to them. What the hell? Mm -mm. Yes. That creepy thing that was behind Luke and grabbed him. Mm. <gasps> no. That's the crazy, uh, Poppy. Losing a child, do you think? There's a thing worse than that? No. I don't think there's anything worse than that. I dreamed I lost my little girl once. I dreamed she was choking on her own body for no reason. Trying for air like the room was underwater. And she did go she died. Remember? She's crazy. Is that Abigail? Who's the boy? Dreamed his little legs stopped working. Just stopped one day. And he couldn't walk. Oh, in the wheelchair. He and he couldn't speak. And then he couldn't do anything but... In the wheelchair. Cry and bang on the walls. Bang on the walls for help and bang on the walls for mama and just bang, 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 bang. He couldn't even see. In the end, he couldn't see me there with him. And then he stopped banging. He stopped Did she kill her children? He died. Because she's... Remember? I held him so long. He went cold in my arms. Yeah. Screaming Mimi. But then I woke up. And they were safe. And they're bed. Okay. Perfect. Oh, hell. Ugh. They was having a dream. I mean, bad ones. I mean, positively screaming memes. The worst of the worst. What would you do? Break them up? I mean, the dream was so mean. So scary. A dream about sick and sad. 
She wouldn't kill them. Back up. Back up. Oh. That's when she has the yeah. Oh no. We're gonna pass the man with the clock again. Mario Brothers. Why is he why is, why? I'm sure we can handle any dream you have. What if I can that you kill us? Well, then you won't Oh God, we're gonna see what she saw in the mirror. That's any Mom? Ooh. Mom. Oh. Oh. Yep. Oh. He thinks she leaves, but what happens? She doesn't leave. She's not there. Who says hi? Guys, guys. Okay. Shut up, kids. She's not there. She's at a hotel. Where is she? In that hotel that they all went to? Oh my gosh. Is it? What happens? Oh, she comes back, but they don't know it. Mm. Mom. She's gonna be crazy. Who? Shark. Are you dreaming too? Kittens need their mommies and then they don't. Okay. <laughs> ah. I don't like it. What'd she do with the rat poison? She's gonna drink it. Dudley's. You're perfectly safe. She, cause she's not allowed out. You're a cup of stars. And when you drink it, you'll hold your pinky up. Okay. Yes. Well, he must stop them in time. But what about Abigail? <gasps> That's the Dudley's daughter. I'm waking us all up. What dream? <laughs> Mom. 
It's okay. It's okay. She's having a nightmare. She's gonna wake up. What's wrong? Abigail! Just a moment and there will be no more pain. She's safe. Drink your tea. No! He gets in there before they do, obviously. Yep, yep. What are you doing? Okay, well he shoved her. But that's not what killed her. Okay. I thought it was going in right there. What happens? Yeah, you did that. What? Oh, this is why he told Stephen to keep his eyes closed. <laughs> oh, in there. that's when it first episode. Yep. Oh, and then we see the feet walk away. Oh my gosh. That's Hazel. That's the old woman. He was. He's killing them. He's driving them into the dark. He's killing them. He's killing all of them. He's driving them toward a silver table. He's driving them toward the needle. He's driving them. Stop it. The, the Dudleys are going to look for her and they're going to see. They're going to kill her. They're going to kill her because. Abigail is real. If that's no, no, their no. daughter. I want to wake up. Then wake up. And find those little bugs safe in their beds. Wow. She did commit suicide. She's going to push her. She almost pushed her, but she did let go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm on my way. I'll show you. Are you sure? You guys go on without me. How could we? Well. Okay, a lot of stuff happening in that episode. And I think it was called Screaming Mimi's. Again, I don't have my glasses on, so I thought it said Meanies. But anyway, we got to see some ghosts interact with Olivia. She was having such vivid dreams. And then, like, she actually opened a door in the house and went into the future and saw Nell in the funeral home dead and then Luke at her feet throat you know vomited uh, with the needle in his arm dead and she's trying to explain this to her husband she's like I you know they were grown up but I know it was them and so then it became like protecting them because she always wanted everyone to stay small, especially uh, Nell and Luke. The others had grown up, so she didn't wake them. She wanted to, but Abigail is real. Well, she was, but she would play with Luke in secret, I guess, because she wasn't allowed on the premises. That's the Dudley's daughter. And I thought maybe they would walk in at the tea party fiasco uh, when he took the other kids, their kids out and she was there with Abigail and she'd realize what she had done and I was like, oh, they realized what happened and they killed her. But no, she did let go. She wanted to wake up. She just kept feeling like everything was a dream and to wake up from that dream and everything be okay. 
you know, you had to end it. Crazy Ghost, Poppy, um, I believe she killed her children. She's the one who met her husband at, in the nut house, right? That's a great pair. I mean, why would you have kids? We saw the older lady, I think that was Hazel, saying that Poppy's a liar, okay? Anyway, we went all the way back to episode one and we got to see things from her point of view of what had happened that night. I, I'm hoping the last episode we're gonna pick up with the whole family being there. And I don't know who's gonna survive or what's gonna happen with all this, but they're probably all gonna see the mom in this house because that's what she wants. She wants everybody back there. The house wants everyone back there. It's gonna end so freaky. But it's really, it's really good. It has me on the edge like constantly. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be getting to the last episode soon. I need to take a little break <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> I swear I'm having I'm not having a migraine but it's this this is so stressful it's causing me a bit of a headache not like her migraines don't don't worry <laughs> thank y'all for watching this episode with me if you are a patron I hope you're enjoying the full picture-in-picture -picture. and until the next video and the next time bye